All right. If you didn't check out part one of this week's Q&A video, make sure after watching this one, you watch that one because especially if you ask questions, they might get answered. But either way, you're probably going to enjoy the answers that I give in this one too. And if you want to ask questions in future Q&A videos, I take those questions at OTRS Central is the Twitter handle. At OTRS Central is the Twitter handle. Follow it and follow it now. And then if it's your first time checking this out, you might want to click on that subscribe button. Smash it! Subscribe and die! That's what we do here. All right, let's go ahead and dive in, get some more questions answered. At Liam Patrick, 1993, ask Push Berry Fire YWC Edition. Adam Blampade, Stephen Larson, and Brain Zane. Wait. Oh, no. That's what you typed. Adam Blampede, Stephen Larson, and Brain Zane. Well, I know of Brian Zane. I don't really have any issue with him. I think he's an okay guy. But you have me intrigued here by Brain Zane. Like, who is Brain Zane? Brian Zane, eh, push him, whatever, that's fine. But Brain Zane? Push that motherfucker to the moon! Uh, <laughs> Barry Steven Larson? As we have enough people that do ridiculously long podcast videos and then fire Adam Blampede because he sucks. He's stupid. Uh, at the Big D, 1917-8301, with an absolutely bloated roster, signing wrestlers as trophies, and focusing on happy WWE, do you think AEW is beginning to walk on thin ice? Uh, no, but they need to be cautious and careful. Thin ice, no. Not yet. Mm -mm. <laughs> but I love the way you kind of laid out the case for why you think they are treading on thin ice. But if it continues, it could it could be a bigger problem for them down the road. Um, at History Guy 7 do you think Randy Savage versus The Rock could have been a WrestleMania match? Yes, I do. Would have been probably pretty cool. Yeah. Or even just a big four pay-per-view match. Like, imagine if that was a match during the Frickin' invasion angle, my god. Um, at killink underscore mukahid. What do you expect from the exploding barbed wire death match at Revolution? Will it be fun to watch? Is this stipulation a good idea? Just stupid due to its brutality and danger. And should Box take the title, although he's not the biggest draw for AEW? Um, I don't think their story nearly merits doing one of these stupid stipulations. Will it be fun to watch? Eh, eh, I'm 50-50 on that. Um, a lot of others, of course, are going to rage about it because it has high spots and extreme shit, so they're automatically going to get sucked in and think that that's great and awesome. Um, like a lot of things in wrestling can be stupid due to their brutality and danger. Um, I think I just think the stipulation is stupid because I don't think the story is there to justify it. That's why. Um, and yes, I mean, you get that belt off of Kenny Omega because that whole thing's been stupid. They're probably not going to, which will make it even more stupid. At EJ Dennis ninety six, Sonic or Mario? Uh, not wrestling related, but I guess you asked, so I read it, so I gotta answer it. Um, watch this be the most controversial answer that I give. I'll say Mario. Yeah, I, I grew up playing Mario more. Um, so I'll go Mario. Uh, at Mid Carter J, what's more iconic? Chuck Norris <laughs> kicking the shit out of the founder or Sid's boot of justice? <laughs> Walker, Texas Ranger, hitting him with that roadhouse kick. Fuck that Mid Carter piece of crap. Or Sid expanding his offensive repertoire. And of course it had to be a big move for the second rope that he was trying on Scott Steiner of all people. Scott should have sat him down and given him a math lesson beforehand. You take your six eighths and three hundredths pounds and you take the distance away and that spells disaster for you and sin. <laughs> oh shit. At Dave G one two three underscore four five six, who are your five favorite wrestlers for any company right now? We all know number one is Roman Reigns. Number two, 
probably MJF. Number three, probably Bianca Belair. Number four, probably Jade. I know we haven't really seen her wrestle yet, but shut up. It's my fucking list. And number five is probably Luchasaurus. And you can say, what about Sami Zayn? Like, this is tough. I gotta give some representation to the ladies, too, here, for God's sakes. Um, hey, there are certainly wrestlers in different companies that I enjoy, contrary to what you might think. Uh, at Gabriel, 9666-8008, what's your favorite celebrity segment in WWE? I'll have to say it's LeVar Ball. Man, if that ain't towards, towards the top of the damn list, I don't know what the hell it is. LaMelo. <laughs> Beat his ass! I can't say the other word, but you get the point! <laughs> oh, fantastic. <laughs> oh. At Dylan Schwartz, what happened to the 40 other people who were involved in the retribution invasion of the performance center? Future endeavor? I don't know. Just like everything else involved in that stupid-ass faction and story, we should try to forget as soon as we possibly could. Or can. At Spinner Media YT. You know, and I, I mean no offense here, but I'm actually quite disappointed that this is not SpinnerNet asking me a question. <laughs> that would have been epic. <laughs> SpinnerNet one, baby. Um, I've got some wrestler to NBA comparisons I came up with. Do you agree? Hogan's MJ, Rock is Shaq, Taker's Tim Duncan, HBK's Kobe, Bruno's Will, Cena's LeBron, Savage is Magic, Roman is Giannis, Styles is D-Wade, Daniel Bryan is Curry, Punk is KD, Kali is Sean Bradley, Sean Bradley! Kenny Omega is James Harden. Uh, let's take this in reverse order. Kenny Omega, yes, he says Lane to fucking watch for me as James Harden is. I actually like that comparison. Kali and Sean Bradley wore it all day long. Not really seeing the CM Punk KD comparison. Um, Steph Curry. Mm. Danny Bryan, no. AJ Styles, D Wade, maybe, no. Mm -mm. Roman and Giannis. Roman is beyond compare, thank you. Savage is magic. Uh, potentially, you can talk about five tool type of guy. Okay, I could get done with that. Uh, but Savage at least had some defenses in his defense in his matches. Magic didn't use no D on the court. He laid all of his D off the court, if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> Cena is LeBron. Oh, God. <laughs> uh Maybe people try to tell you he's the greatest ever when anybody with a brain knows that he's not. Um, he's at the top for a long period of time as interest in the product continues to go down. Yeah, I can see that. Bruno being well. Yeah, I can certainly see that. HBK is Kobe. Uh, no. Mm -mm. And you're going to have people yell at you because you didn't list Brett here anyways. Which, frankly, fuck Brett, so who cares? Uh <laughs> Uh, Taker is Tim Duncan. Sure, I could see that. The Rock is Shaq. No. Uh-uh. No. No. Maybe The Rock's more like Kobe. Yeah. Hogan MJ is appropriate. Uh, let's see here. At Apurv Shankar 1. According to you, what should be the WWE Championship match at WrestleMania 37? Um, you either have Lashley defend in some dumbass triple threat at Fastlane with Miz and McIntyre, or you delay it and have Lashley and Miz go one-on-one -on -one at Mania. Which I would rather have happen, frankly. Not every match needs to go a long time. You can have a squash match. I'd be cool with that. At Rick Styles, 1985. Since the guys are the breakfast club, should the top women like the Four Horsemen and Alexa Bliss be called Hunter's Angels? <laughs> 
which means a god. You got to go in the ring, <laughs> Hunter's Angels. <laughs> Fuck it, why not? Whatever. We're dumb. <laughs> At Daniel W. Clark, DWC, do you think that WWE's recent signing spree won't do the effects of last April when last lots of the roster have been cut or come back to bite them in some other way? I don't think it's going to come back to bite them, and you know it probably does replenish some of their ranks. Um, at Edsel4, is it me or did AEW forget that in order to succeed, they need a casual audience? It's mind-blowing to see these fans think AEW is going to succeed more with them teaming up with Impact and NJPW when casuals don't know those companies. Um, it's a great question. I think the, the, the framing of the question is somewhat off the mark here because the real question should be, why do they not understand the importance of it? Why are they stubbornly only trying to intentionally appeal towards hardcores? Because you can't say that they forgot about it. They don't apparently want to. They don't care to. So they can't forget about what they intentionally set out to not do. At K underscore no cash. Some wrestlers in shoot says that DDP got over because he knew Eric Bischoff. Since you watched DDP in his prime, is this true or did he naturally get over? Um, yes. I think he naturally got over. I think he certainly benefited from being friends and alleged wife swapper with the boss, Bischoff. Um, but if you say that the fans didn't connect with them or that he wasn't legitimately a top guy, like that's crap and everybody knows it and should know it. Um, but yeah, he, he got over because he knew Bischoff, but he also got over because he worked his ass off and he found a character that could connect with the fans. You know, he had a cool stick. Like the diamond cutter was a great finisher that actually fucking meant something. You know, he could talk, he had a personality. So yeah, it's like the whole thing, like nothing wrong with it. Just, that's not all of it, though. Um, at Lord underscore JCW, eventually the WWE will start to go on the road again. Once they get to Virginia, and if our tribal chief is still the champion, will you attend a live event? Absolutely. And I'll be highly upset if they don't have him show up. Absolutely upset. At King underscore David underscore H, thoughts on the funhouse match between The Fiend and John Cena? Is that you trying to get me to do a night two review of WrestleMania 36? Ha <laughs> ha! You think that's working out for you? <laughs> At California ST96, when did you realize that Daniel Bryan was the best indie darling of the early 2000s? And where, <laughs> where's our WrestleMania 35 review, Jeff? <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> your first question is irrelevant. Your second question is awesome because it comes right out the heels of somebody trying to... <laughs> you know, if I do a WrestleMania 35 review someday, it better be the most fucking watched video on this channel over the past three, four years. If it's not, I'm going to come out here and individually cuss out every single one of my subscribers for being jackasses, for whining and pissing and moaning about not getting the review. And then when they got it, they did, of course, what wrestling fans did. They want it until they get it. Then they don't want it anymore. You know, a woman. Bunch of ladies. <laughs> At... J.K. Pugh, Roman Reigns will have main evented five WrestleManias after this upcoming Mania. Do you think he will pass Triple H and Hogan um, in that category? Uh, yeah. I think there's certainly a chance, especially if he keeps up this rhythm and he keeps on this momentum. Hell yeah. At Little DJ Boys, closing us out. What's the GOAT TNA promo? Scott Steiner's math promo or Jay Lethal and Ric Flair? Having to choose between that should be illegal. We should be able to enjoy both of them. I take it to you folks though. Which promo is better? Because my God, those are two of the all-time classics and epics, not just in TNA history, but wrestling history as a whole. <laughs>